Coming up on Ag Week TV. Agriculture is big business in North Dakota. We'll find out just how big of an economic impact it has. We'll see how one young couple was able to get into the hog business through an arrangement with an integrator. And we'll visit one North Dakota ranch spreading holiday cheer one reindeer at a time. Welcome to Ag Week TV, I'm Emily Beal. Agriculture is a big business in North Dakota, but a new first-of-its-kind study reveals just how big. Jenny Schlecht has details. Agriculture has always been a main driver of the economy in North Dakota, but a survey unveiled this week showed just how big that impact really is. $30.8 billion of impact from agriculture in our state annually. The new NDSU study shows that from 2018 to 2020, Agriculture contributed $30 billion to the state's economy. It makes up almost 25% of the state's value-added economy, and there are more than 110,000 jobs tied to ag business. That's 20% of all jobs. This is the first time we've looked at the entire industry, and I think it really, really paints an uh, important picture of how important the industry is to our state. I think everybody knows agriculture is important. We say it, and, and as you drive through North Dakota communities and rural areas, you certainly see it. But I think the numbers now speak for themselves in terms of the scope of the industry. While he's impressed with the results of the survey, Governor Doug Burgum says the state needs to do more to keep the ag industry growing. How do we help farmers have an opportunity today, small farmers, medium-sized farmers, large farmers, how do, how do we help them be more competitive and more productive and we just have to cut the red tape? Governor Burgum says he hopes lawmakers use this information to develop policies that encourage growth in the ag industry. In Bismarck, this is Jenny Schlecht for Ag Week. Governor Burgum says North Dakota's economic output from commodity processing is likely to grow. Two new soybean plants are under construction, one by ADM at Spiritwood and one by North Dakota Soybean Processors at Castleton. Shortly after that news conference in Bismarck, Epitome Energy announced plans for a third soybean plant in the state, this one in Grand Forks. The $400 million plant will be able to process up to 42 million bushels of soybeans a year into crude degum soybean oil, meal, and hulls. CEO Dennis Egan says soybean oil will likely go into the renewable diesel industry, while the meal will go into the livestock industry. Epitome had planned to put the plant on this site in Crookston, Minnesota, but ran into problems with permitting. Epitome estimates the plant will strengthen farmers' basis for soybeans by 20 to 25 cents per bushel. Diesel fuel has become a precious commodity with talk of shortages and prices going over $5 a gallon in the upper Midwest. Prices for all fuels have been volatile in 2022, but the spread between diesel and gasoline widened by nearly $1.50 a gallon in October. David Ripplinger, an energy specialist at NDSU, says there are several factors, including the war in Ukraine and lower demand for gas. But he says there's very little truckers and farmers can do but ride it out. Diesel is a cost that you're going to endure. And fortunately, we're also seeing high commodity prices, high crop prices to offset that. But in general, you know, di diesel is, is a fixed expense. There's only so much you can do to reduce uh, use in any given year. While diesel prices have dropped some, experts say they could stay high through the winter. Farmland rental rates across Minnesota are expected to rise slightly in 2023. That's according to University of Minnesota Extension educators. David Bow, whose expertise is in agriculture business management, says rental rates are determined by historical numbers, but also by the cost of production this year and estimates for next year. With rising land values and good commodity prices, Bow predicts rates to rise, about $10 an acre, to an average of $221. Flexible leases work really good because they adjust for price and yield usually. And the price has been really good the last couple of years, so they've been having good payouts for flexible leases. Whereas in the past few years before that, cash rent was paying enough high rate that the flexible leases were paying less than that. So now it's kind of going the other way with our higher prices have gone up compared to what they were. Bow says it's very important to have a written contract rather than relying on a handshake agreement. South Dakota's Clark County is seeing an uptick in hog production. In this week's Ag Week cover story, Mickle Pates talked to a young couple about why they decided to get into the business. Although she comes from a farming family, Sam Lamont never expected to run a livestock enterprise until one day in 2019 when her husband Taylor brought home a brochure on hog production. It sat on the counter for 
months. We never really talked about it until the neighbor right up here had an open house with his second barn. It sounded like something we'd be interested in. After talking to Taylor's parents and securing funding in 2020, the Lamonts built a 2,400 head finishing barn for about $850,000. Sam says having new barns gives them an advantage. Guidelines to care for pigs, animals in general, are always changing. So newer updated barns are more desirable because there are certain things they can't get hurt on or different size pens or heating and cooling, all for the welfare of the pig. Every morning I do a report. They raise pigs under contract for an integrator or pig owning company called Windy Oak Farms. Pigs come to them at three weeks old, weighing about 16 pounds. The Lamonts feed them until they reach about 280 pounds when they're sent out for processing. Windy Oak co-owner Nick Fitzgerald says his company works with 10 contract finishers. They build the facility, they operate the facility. Uh, our family would own the pigs in the facility, and, uh, and then we provide the inputs. Taylor and a brother also work on the family farm with their parents where they grow corn and soybeans. They're able to put the manure to good use as fertilizer. His parents also raise cattle, and he says there's one big advantage to hogs. Well, when you're calving in the spring and it's dirty blowing, snowing and blowing, it's still sunny and 70 in here. In Carpenter, South Dakota, this is Michael Pates for Ag Week. You can read more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Up next, despite a slow start, sugar beet growers set a couple of records this year. I'm Peter Bosch. I've been working with Gateway Building Systems for a little over 20 years now. I chose Gateway Building Systems to build my shop because I wanted a building that could both be used for my equipment and as a place for my family to hang out and do things. I would advise anybody that's thinking about working with Gateway to go in and talk to the guys there, tell them your plans and your future dreams and let them design something for you. If you need storage at your location, call Mike at Storage Pros today. We sell and rent 20, 40, and 45 foot new and used shipping containers. Choose from our huge inventory of in-stock shipping containers at one of our three locations. All of our units are wind and watertight and mouse proof. We deliver with roll-off trailers to your site. We'll have your container to you and ready to use in two to three days. Call Mike at Storage Pros today, 701-360-1411. Every season has an end. After spending your whole life building something, it can be hard to move on to your next stage in life. But when that time comes, you deserve to have someone you trust guide you through the process. And by trusting us to pass on your legacy, it gives someone else the chance to create their own. Every auction has a story. Let us share yours. There's no easy button, no guarantees, or promises of a good year. This is farming. It's unpredictable and demanding with long days and sometimes stressful nights. It's weathering the storms and coming out successful. Farming isn't for everyone. We thank those who make it their life because it is for everyone. As we approach the end of the 2022 crop year, it's time to assess which decisions were good and which ones were not. Producers will go through cropping practices and evaluate their performance and make their adjustments the following year. Do you do the same with your risk management strategy? Did your crop insurance levels give you the coverage and protection you needed for the year? Were you able to respond to the market opportunities when they became available? If your risk management approach needs a little attention, the professionals at Martinson Ag can help you. We give you straightforward analysis that helps you make the best decisions for your operation. Despite some early production worries, American Crystal Sugar Company had a strong 2022 crop and is heading into its 50th year in a good position. Crystal's president and CEO told the shareholders' annual meeting this year growers harvested the biggest crop on record, despite being the latest planting ever. The company made a record high initial estimate for the 2022 crop, $71 per ton on a record 12.1 million tons. That payment can still be adjusted over the next year as the beets are processed. Tom A. Strip says although inputs are higher, the outlook is strong because of a number of factors. 
higher volume, better throughput, better cost efficiency. Uh, and part of that is, is a product of, of firm markets for both sugar and uh, agro products, you know, our beet pulp and molasses. American Crystal has several activities planned throughout the year to celebrate its 50th anniversary. Rock picking has always been a long and labor-intensive process until now. The new TC100 TerraClear Rock Picker is a faster, easier way to pick rock. Every farmer knows one of the most time-consuming and annoying jobs on the farm is picking rocks. But the new TC100 Rock Picker by TerraClear is the future of rock picking. Up until the TerraClear Rock Picker, we have always just picked rocks, um, going out there with a the pickup or going out there with a the tractor and loader, and this has changed how we've done it forever now. With the ability to pick up to 600 rocks per hour, the TC100 is the fastest and most efficient rock picker on the market. TerraClear uses drones to map the rocks in a field and the driver uses that map to find the rocks quickly. One nice thing with this rock picker is when you team it up with the map, the efficiency you have is so much greater than you are when you're just going out in the field and looking for the rocks. I can go out and pick one of our 40 acre fields you know, in an hour or two with the rock map and the picker because I know where all the rocks are instead of wandering around looking for them. Not only is it the most efficient rock picker on the planet, I really like the versatility of the TerraClear rock picker just because of the size that we can pick with it. We can pick down to, you know, three, four inch diameter rock all the way up to 20 plus rock. Um, I've picked rock up to 300 pounds through it. It has also completely changed who can do the picking. We can have anybody go out into the field now. I mean, we can have younger people go out there and run the skid loaders, older people. And when the picking can be done. Nice thing with TerraClear Rock Picker is the window that we can go out there and pick rocks. Um, we're picking rocks up until the ground freezes. Um, if there's light snow on the ground, we can go out there and pick rocks. We can get out there earlier in the springtime to also because we don't have as much problem with mud like you do with conventional rock pickers. With technology changing farming at every corner, the TerraClear TC100 is no exception. Applications are getting faster and faster. I mean, we're planning up to 10 miles an hour now. So when we start hitting rocks going faster, we're gonna do a lot more damage. And with the map, you know, we've brought technology into every aspect of farming. Why not bring technology into rock picking? It's a new way of looking at a very old problem that has, nobody has ever changed for years. And uh, TerraClear has kind of taken that challenge on and uh, bringing rock picking into the 21st century. I would never want to pick rocks again without the TerraClear rock picker. Ahead on Ag Week TV, it's time for North Dakota soybean growers to consider running for the board. Omega-3 is a, a long-chain fatty acid that is beneficial in the human body. It's a superfood, basically. I mean, Omega-3 canola has helped us by diversifying our crop rotations. Plants look better, they're taller, they're thicker. Pod development seems to be better. Good for soil health, good for weed control. The glufosinate is, it's awesome. Infrastructure is at the foundation of everything we do. It lets us go farther, play harder, and live better. That's why for over 60 years, our team of experienced civil engineers has worked with our private and public partners to design, construct, and maintain our community's infrastructure. When it matters most, you need more. More engineering, improving lives by building strong communities. Dynaflow is the ultimate high volume water management pump. Whether you're experiencing flooding, emptying sloughs, transferring ponds, or working on irrigation, the Dynaflow pump works in as little as 18 inches of water and is designed to move 3,000 gallons per minute. The Dynaflow lift pump is the perfect upgrade to your drain tile system. Using line shaft turbine pump technology, these pumps are made to last while operating efficiently. Dynaflow drain tile pumps can move up to 1,500 gallons per minute, up to 3,400 feet away. Last year's drought and this year's late planting season put some farmers behind schedule. But there's a new nano liquid technology that could help play catch up by delivering nutrients to your crops more efficiently. Let's take a look at how this new technology works. Ericsson Custom Operations introduced AquaYield to the region in 2018. 
Farmers and producers alike have grown to appreciate this nanoliquid technology that's helped stretch their dollar thanks to Aqua Yield's impressive use rate. The use rate is, is like four ounces an acre, which is a very low use rate. Aqua Yield has also allowed farmers to lower their input costs while their yields continue to rise. I mean, really all from between $3 to possibly $8 on a per acre cost to you to, to try it, so very inexpensive. For more information, call the number or visit our website on the screen. It looks like a mild stretch is heading our way. Here's John with our AgriWeather Outlook. The month of December has started out with some pretty cold weather, northern plains, upper Midwest. But as we get into this uh, start of this next week, there will be some temperature moderation. However, don't get used to it. It's going to be fairly brief. And not only will the cold weather come back, but uh, during the time of the milder weather, there is some snowstorm potential into the northern plains. Let's check out the map. First of all, graphics right now, we got split flow. There's an area of, uh, of split flow out across the Pacific Ocean. The primary jet stream going from west to east right through the middle of the country this week. But coming out of this, we're starting to see a large area of low pressure. It's going to come out of the southwest and it will very likely be lifted up into some section of the Great Plains, Northern Plains, with the potential for snow, maybe some ice, maybe some rain. It all depends on the track of the low. At first, there may be some fairly heavy snow, and then it looks like the storm system will just kind of stall and linger, and that will likely produce lighter snows, but it may persist uh, on into the week. And with the jet stream coming right out of the north, there will be potential for some colder weather to drop back in to the northern plains and northern Rockies for the second half of the week. The deep south will be fairly warm, but the cold weather, at least relative for the latitude, will make it all the way down into Texas, and it does look fairly cold. The frigid weather, the sub-zero highs, by the end of the week will be knocking on the door at North Dakota and may in fact make their way in. Another split, though, will be developing out across the west, and as we head into the second week of this period, which is actually the week leading up to Christmas, it does look like there are going to be some pretty cold temperatures into the northern Rockies and the northern plains. And generally speaking, most of the United States, as we head into that period shortly before Christmas, I expect will be in a pretty cold weather pattern. Florida looks fairly mild. Uh, Southern California, not that bad. But really in the southwest, with the jet dropping as far south as I expect, it'll be generally kind of coolish in places like L.A. and uh, certainly into San Francisco. Texas looks pretty cold for the week before Christmas. And as I said, only South Florida escaping the cold. Some of this will be some sub-zero high temperature weather. Now, go back a week to this first week of the period, and I do expect a storm system to lift out of the southwest. It'll bring substantial rain to the southwest, including California, and mountain snows in the southwest. I do look for a band of snow, perhaps even heavy snow, to move out into the northern plains, and I'm not quite sure of the exact track. Obviously, the chance for uh, a mixed precipitation is better on the southern side. And then once the cold weather drops into the northern plains, there'll be a chance of snow further south with rain all the way down to the Gulf. But the northern plains upper Midwest look dry. Grain Handling Direct presents How to Purchase Grain Storage Solutions in Your Bathrobe. First, go to grainhandlingdirect.com. Browse our products, check prices, and add your selection to a cart. You can place your order online or call our customer service reps with any questions. We'll route your order to the manufacturer and ship it directly to your front door. GrainHandlingDirect.com. Direct and simple to save you money. The passion to make this season better than the last. Since the beginning, it's been our goal too. From our pipeline of groundbreaking traits to new technologies, ours is a story of innovation and a proven track record that's pushed performance and the industry farther than many thought was possible. But there's still work to be done and yields to chase. Because as you know all too well, success doesn't come to those who wait. Don't miss out on the equipment you'll need next season. Titan Machinery, your local Case IH dealer, has early order discounts on its full line of powerful, efficient new Case IH equipment, including tractors, 
combines, and self-propelled sprayers. Get a great deal and ensure that you have the latest in productivity and technology. Supply chains are tight. Contact your Titan Machinery dealership today and find out how much you can save by ordering ahead. Titan Machinery, your local Case IH equipment experts. Small or large, Superior Grain Equipment has a storage solution for you with a wide variety of bin options and accessories, along with site planning and superior customer service. Plus, from top to bottom, we offer the industry's best bins and warranties to protect your products and your grain storage investment. Get superior quality, protection, and reliability with generations of experience and dependability. Make the superior choice today with Superior Grain Equipment. For Ag Week, this is Mikkel Pates at Watertown, South Dakota. We'll look at the positive impacts that dairy can have on the community. A Minnesota couple has put a grain bin to a new use. Spoiler alert, it's not grain. This elaborate system of tubing with the downhill slope is how Maplewood State Park gathers sap to make syrup. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV. Remember, for all your ag news, go to agweek.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Ag Week TV Soy Insight, brought to you by the North Dakota Soybean Council. It's nearing election time again for the North Dakota Soybean Council. In 2023, the council will hold elections in four districts, 2, 8, 10, and 12. Soybean producers living in these districts are encouraged to nominate a fellow producer or consider running themselves. Rose Dunn talked with an outgoing board member about why it's a good experience. That's right. Every year, a third of the state's 12 districts have a seat open for election. And joining me now is longtime board member Dan Speakermeyer. He grows soybeans near Sheldon, North Dakota. Dan, how long have you been on the board? I've been on the board for five and a half years. Uh, my term ends June 30th of this next coming year. Why should someone consider uh, taking a spot on the board? Well, if you have an interest in trying to do something good for your commodity that you're growing, uh, take a look at the North Dakota Soybean Council because what we have done over the years since its inception has just been outstanding. Uh, we wouldn't have the soybean prices and the soybean uses that we have today without what the, the research and, and marketing that they have done. So tell me a little bit about that. What does the board do? Uh, we're busy trying to sell our product from up in North Dakota to places locally and around the world. And I'll bet it's a real learning experience, even about your own commodity. It is. It really is. Holy, you know, all the different uses that a bean can be used for is just amazing. It's oils, the soybean meal, the different ways they can form the oil to do different things from health to plastics to, you know, seats in Ford vehicles to uh, soles on your shoes that you wear and uh and, and tires. All right, so watch your mailbox. And give it some serious consideration, right? Yeah, yes, do that. All right, thanks for being with us today. Dan Speakmeyer. North Dakota soybean producers who live in the counties holding elections should have already been mailed their nomination forms. Completed forms must be postmarked or hand-delivered by December 23rd. Go to the website on your screen for more information. It's a reindeer's time to shine. We'll visit a ranch that's spreading Christmas cheer. All right, here's the free gift I got for opening up a checking account. Let's see what I got. Okay guys, so I got this portable DVD player. Yeah, I'm not sure why my bag would give me a tiny waffle maker. So it's a tumbler, but it doesn't fit in any of my cup holders. I wasn't even sure they still made these. Is it for kids? Is this for kids? Don't fall for the free gift. Find a bank that cares about what you really need. Cornerstone Bank. The team at North Star Egg is committed to quality and committed to you. We're not just a full service dealer, we're farmers too, so we know you need the best machinery and services that'll keep you going all season long. We have the largest equipment inventory in the upper Midwest with a well-equipped parts and service department. So whether you need machinery tomorrow or parts today, stop in and experience what North Star Egg can offer on our website at northstar-egg.com or give us a call at 701-361-4790. Effective water management is critical to our community's well-being. Without it, our most valuable resource can quickly become destructive. That's why for over 60 years, our team of experienced water resource experts have worked alongside state, 
local and federal partners to protect our land, our homes, and our future. More engineering, improving lives by building strong communities. Why ultimately choose them is they handled everything from the site prep, the dirt work, the gravel, the electricians were all excellent and they're very knowledgeable in the dryer setups themselves. They made sure that they designed me a system that was expandable years into the future. It was a long-term encompassing project and that's what I appreciate about their knowledge. I'm Ethan Hansen from Blanchard, North Dakota and I would definitely recommend Advanced Grain for all your grain storage handling needs. Spray Advantage is a full-line, full-service dealer with everything you need for fertilizer and chemical applications, like electronics from Microtrack and Raven, pumps by Banjo and John Blue, a full line of poly parts, tanks, and spray tips. We support the equipment we sell with factory-trained service technicians and a well-stocked parts department. It's our commitment to offer you quality products at competitive prices with the best financing options available. Spray Advantage, proudly serving North Dakota and Minnesota. You may know Dasher, Dancer, and Prancer, but one North Dakota ranch is busy showing their reindeer, Olaf, around the Upper Midwest. I visited the reindeer ranch where they're spreading Christmas cheer, one reindeer at a time. Piggy, you want some for later or not? No, he wants it all now. Kyle Hoselton and his father, Vernon, own and operate the reindeer ranch in Drayton, North Dakota. They got into the reindeer business in 1998 after Vernon sold off his think? buffalo herd. Well, many years ago, I had buffalo for about 10 years, and we finally figured out we didn't have enough room for them. So my uh, wife asked me, what do you want to go into next? And reindeer came out of my mouth. The Hoseltons have 10 reindeer and run a breeding program on their ranch. The gestation period for a reindeer is seven and a half months, and they typically calve out in April. Knock it off. The Hoseltons believe they got into the reindeer business at just the right time because of the rising cost. The price of reindeer have gone up drastically in the last few years for what they were when we started. The Hoseltons take their reindeer all over the Midwest during the holiday season to spread Christmas cheer, traveling primarily in the Dakotas and Minnesota. Very snoopy animals. They're booked and busy every weekend during Christmas time. Oi, where are you going? And the look on people's faces when they see the reindeer makes it all worthwhile. Just seeing all the, the people of all ages come up and wash their eyeballs, almost like the old cartoon pop out of their head, kind of going, ooh, they are real, okay. Maybe, maybe Santa is really actually real. You know, you get some of those parents that kind of go, look at their kids like, well, maybe he is, you know, maybe, maybe Santa, I told you Santa is real, because here's his reindeer. Kyle hopes to eventually get his herd up to 50 in North Dakota and have a satellite farm in Texas with 1,000 reindeer. Stories you'll only see on agweek.com and in Agweek magazine this week. A co-op of organic farmers is surrendering its grain dealer's license in South Dakota as part of a settlement with regulators. And a group of senators has sponsored legislation to allow year-round sales of E15. We appreciate you watching Agweek TV. Remember to check us out daily on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to keep up on all your ag news. Have a great week.